Now, next interaction is between pethidine and MAO inhibitors. So, pethidine is an opioid. It is used as a painkiller. Most of pethidine, it become inactive by monoamine oxidase A, MAO A. It metabolizes pethidine, make it inactive. Okay. Now, 99% of pethidine become inactive with MAO A. But little bit of pethidine, you can say around 1%, it is converted to a compound called as norpethidine. This norpethidine has two important characteristics. One, it shows the property of cumulation. You can remember that it is very, very long acting. So, whenever norpethidine is produced, it do not go away. It remain in the body. So, we give pethidine, one dose. Little bit of norpethidine is produced, no problem. Second day, we give pethidine. Again, most of it become inactive, but 1% norpethidine is produced. But the 1% which has been produced yesterday is still here. So, it will accumulate. So, daily it keep on accumulating. And if it reach a sufficient level, then it will be a CNS stimulant. It will stimulate CNS, stimulate the brain that can lead to seizures. So, that's why pethidine should not be given for long periods. If we give pethidine for one or two days, no problem. But if we plan to give pethidine for one month, no. Because this 1% will keep on accumulating and that can result in seizures. Okay. Second thing, if we give pethidine and the patient is already taking MAO inhibitors, person is already on MAO inhibitors like trenylcypromine or phenelzin. These are examples of MAO inhibitors. So, when we give pethidine to patient taking these drugs, these are used for depression. So, when we give pethidine to patient taking these drugs, even a single dose can lead to seizures because all 100% will start producing norpethidine. So, pethidine is contraindicated with MAO inhibitors. Okay.